Hey everybody, this is a fun one. Um, so this is a scenario where we will be solving for our PMT, which is our payment. Um, this particular question is going to be dealing with buying your first home, but um, just like anything else, you might find yourself like if you're thinking about buying a car, um, looking up the interest rate, what it's currently at, and how much your, the car you're wanting is and how much your monthly payments would be. So very applicable to real life. Um, super fun question to go through. So let's jump into it. Um, this particular question says you just graduated from college. You want to buy your first home. Over the course of your four years of schooling, you had multiple jobs and you ended up saving $20,000. Um, and that $20,000 you want to apply towards this new home. So the home you're interested in buying costs $250,000. If you can lock in an annual interest rate of four, uh, four and a quarter, 4.25 for 15 years, how much will your monthly payments be? Okay, so let me pull out my drawing. Let's just think about this for a second. So you have a house that you're interested in that's $250,000, but you want to apply 20000 of that right off the bat to help lower your payments. And so the remaining would be 230,000. So that would be our F or our present value would be 230,000. It says that our interest rate is 4.25. And our future value, we don't want to have anything left after that 15 years. So our N, oh, looks like I covered it up, but N is right there. Let's say that is 15. And then we're trying to figure out how much is that going to cost per month in order to pay it off and have nothing remaining. And so that would be 15 months. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This would be 15. Um, so let's, let's open up our calculator and start solving for that. Turn it on. Go hit up here to the apps. Press number one for finance, number one for time value money. Okay, once again, we'll need to put all these to zero in order for us to be able to put in our new values and to solve to see how much it would cost us per month to own this house. So N is 15, but we're trying to figure out monthly. So we're going to have to go 15 times 12, and that's going to be 180 months. Our I is 4.25, but once again, that needs to be monthly, so we have to divide that by 12. Enter. Our present value is $230,000. Our payment is what we will be solving for. Our future value, we want that at zero. So let's go back up here to payment, PMT. It's blinking it's where we want to be over to alpha, click alpha, and then let's hit enter to solve. So our payments would be $1,730.24 per month in order for us to pay off this house within 15 years. So um, houses can be expensive, you know, that's why a lot of people, instead of doing 15 years, they do 30 years. So let's just jump up here and say, I want to do a 30-year mortgage. So let's clear that. And let's go 30 
times 12, 360 months. Let's go for our payment. Let's solve for that with the new figures. So that's $1,100 per month. So it's like 600 bucks of a difference, but you're going to be paying for it twice as long. Um, and in order for you to actually be paying on the principal, it's going to take a lot more time. That's why a lot of uh, advisors counsel you to do a 15-year mortgage, um, just because you'll be able to pay off the principal of your house a lot quicker. But a lot of people are... Uh, attracted to the 30-year mortgage just because, as you can see, the payments are uh, a lot less. Um, anyways, hope you can find real-life ways to apply this. It's kind of fun. So, all right, see you for the next video.